hello and welcome back to this channel once again in today's video we are going to continue to solve questions as we prepare for the upcoming NovDEC core mathematics paper in this video we are going to solve questions on sequence and series now we have our first question that is NovDEC 2012 question 15b the fourth term of an AP is 1 less than twice the second term if the set term is 7, find the first term. So we have a very simple problem here. Let's try to solve this problem. The fourth term of an AP is 1 less than twice the second term. If the set term is 7, find the first term. Now we all know that the nth term or the general term of an AP is given by un equals a plus into bracket n minus 1 times d where a is the first term, d is the common difference and n is the number of terms. So let's write down the expressions for the fourth term, the second term and the set term. So for the fourth term we have u4 equals a plus then in place of n we have 4 so 4 minus 1 is 3 so that is 3 times d so this is the expression for the fourth term for the second term that is going to be a plus 2 minus 1 is 1 times d we have a plus d and then for the sixth term that is going to be a plus 5d now back to the question the fourth term of an AP is 1 less than twice the second term. So the fourth term, which is U4, is 1 less than twice the second term. So we have the second term to be U2. And then the statement says twice the second term. So 2 times the second term. And then the fourth term is 1 less than this value so minus 1 now we have u4 to be a plus 3d and that is equal to 2 times u2 is a plus d so a plus d minus 1 now let's simplify this equation so we have a plus 3d equals 2a plus 2d minus 1 let's continue to simplify so we transpose 2a and then 2d to the left hand side so we have a minus 2a plus 3d minus 2d equals negative 1 this becomes negative a plus d equals negative 1 let's call this equation 1 now for the second statement if the set term is 7, find the first term. So if the set term, that is u6, is equal to 7. Now we have u6 to be a plus 5d. So if this is equal to 7, let's call this equation 2. Now since we have two equations, we can solve them simultaneously. So from equation 1, we are going to make D the subject. The question is asking us to find the first term, which is A. So we make D the subject from equation one. So from equation one, make D the subject. So D is equal to Negative a goes here, so we have negative 1 plus a. Let's call this equation 3. Now we put equation 3 into equation 2. So a from equation 2, that is a plus 5d. So here we have negative 1 plus a equals 7. So a minus 5 
plus 5a equals 7 a plus 5a is 6a and then 7 plus 5 is 12 so we have 6a equals 12 we divide through by 6 and then we have a to be equal to 2 therefore the first term is 2 now let's move on to our second question so to our second question that is Novdek 2014 question 6b the sum of the first and third terms of a GP is 40 while the fourth term and the sixth term are in the ratio of 1 is to 4 find I the common ratio and then I I the fifth term Let's solve this question together. So we are told that the sum of the first and third terms of a GP is 40. Now we know that the general term of a GP is given by un equals a times r exponent n minus 1, where a is the first term r is the common ratio and n is the number of terms now the question involves the first term the third term the fourth term and the set term so let's write down the expressions for these terms that we've already mentioned so for the first term we have u1 equals a times r exponent 1 minus 1 now any non-zero number raised to the power 0 is 1 so we have un equals 1 and then for u3 that is going to be a times r exponent 3 minus 1 which is 2 so a times r exponent 2 we have u4 also to be a times r exponent 3 and then u6 that is a times r exponent 5 now back to the question the sum of the first and third terms of a GP is 40. So it means that u1 plus u3 is equal to 40. Now we have u1 to be a and then u3 to be a times r exponent 2. At this point, we can factor out a. So we have a times into bracket 1 plus r exponent 2 equals 40 now let's call this equation 1 then again the fourth term and the set terms are in the ratio of 1 is to 4 so the fourth term and the set term are in the ratio of 1 is to 4 therefore u4 is equal to 1 divided by u6 equal to 4 now we have u4 to be a times r exponent 3 and then u6 to be a times r exponent 5 now a is common to both terms so we can cancel out a and then we have 1 over 4 equals r exponent 3 over r exponent 5 at this point, we can interchange the positions of the denominator and the numerator. So instead of 1 over 4, we have 4 over 1 equals r exponent 5 divided by r exponent 3. According to indices, we can simplify this as r exponent 5 minus 3, which is equal to r exponent 2. Therefore, we have r exponent 2 equals 4. Because we want to find the value of r, we are going to take the square root of both sides and then we have r to be equal to 2. Now this is called the common ratio. Now from equation 1, we have a times 1 plus r square. Now this time r is 2, so 2 square equals 40. And then 1 plus 2 square is 5, so 5a is equal to 40. We divide through by 5 and then we have a to be equal to 8. 
Now since we are interested in the common ratio, therefore the common ratio is 2. Now I, I, let's find the fifth term. So the fifth term is given by u5 equals a times r exponent 4. So this is equal to, we have a to be 8, we have r to be 2, and then exponent 4. 2 exponent 4 is 16, 8 times 16 is 128. Therefore, the fifth term is 128. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.